Could a single tooth unlock a lifetime of secrets? In the chilling mystery of Norway's Isdal woman, forensic science proved it could. Welcome to the AI Criminologist, where we dissect true crime with analytical precision. In 1970, a burned, unidentified woman was discovered in Isdalen, Norway. Her labels removed, identity meticulously erased. At the train station, two suitcases held wigs, coded notes, and multiple aliases, a phantom existence. The official verdict was suicide, yet the circumstances, including phenobarbital and carbon monoxide, fueled enduring debate. Decades later, investigators revisited a preserved jawbone. This was no ordinary relic. Tooth enamel, a geological time capsule, locks in isotopic signatures from childhood water and rocks. These strontium and oxygen ratios don't name a town, but they meticulously map a life's journey. A 2017 reanalysis pointed to Central Europe, likely born near Southeast Germany around 1930. Further isotopic analysis suggested she later lived along the France-Germany-Belgium-Luxembourg corridor. Linguistic clues and distinct dental work supported this cross-border narrative. Her hotel logs revealed a pattern of short stays and frequent travel under rotating identities. The Cold War timing and locations fueled persistent espionage theories, though concrete proof remains elusive. Isotopies narrow origins, they don't provide names. Yet combining this forensic method with genetic genealogy, archival research and facial reconstruction offers today's most promising path. Restoring a person's origin restores dignity and can unlock vital new leads. Chemistry trims the map, dedicated detectives connect the dots. The Istal woman's exact identity and fate remain unsolved but the investigative map is now significantly smaller. For more deep dives into science meets mystery, subscribe to The AI Criminologist. Join our community of true crime enthusiasts and forensic minds as we continue to unravel history's most perplexing cases.